Hello folks and welcome to today's video. If you're staying in Cebu, chances are you're going to be staying in the area near Fuente Osmeña Circle. And if you haven't really got anything planned, you're most likely going to go visit the SMC side mall. And I'm going to be showing you a way to get from Fuente Osmeña Circle all the way to SMC side for absolutely free. It will cost you no money. All you need to do is go to the bus stop, uh, which is situated on the other side on Fuente Osmania Circle and it will take you directly there. Today we're going to be checking out SMC side. I've been meaning to make this video for quite a long time. I've actually failed twice in doing so and the reason why I've failed is because this shopping mall is so big. It is huge. I believe it's the fourth biggest in the Philippines. But now that this will be my third time going to SMC side, um, I'm pretty familiar with the layout and what there is there. So um, if I've timed this correctly, I should be able to actually catch sunset and show you all the major facilities of this mall. But first things first, we need to come to this bus stop here and hop on this bus, I believe, which is going to SMC side. We've got a long line here though. SMC side? Yeah, buddy. By bus standards, it's a pretty big bus. Um, usually buses in the Philippines are pretty small, pretty compact. But this one to SMC side, don't, don't try it with me, mate. Don't, don't point out that sign. <laughs> no mask, no ride. I've got my mask. Just ripped it for shit. stops at one of four stops. We've got the Nature Spring, Salazar Institute, Virama, San Carlos and Fuente. On top of the SMC side it's actually five. Okay and there we have it. The bus has dropped us off right in front of the C wing at SMC side. Uh, the C wing being the wing that's closest by the sea. But uh, before we go inside, let me show you some of the architectural features of uh, this magnificent mall. First of all, it reminds me of like a spinning disc. It's this really long kind of circular shape uh, with sections cut out for the windows. And then at the corner of the mall is this giant cube that's perched on one of its side of where the SM Mall sits. Additionally, in the center of the mall is this giant tower. I believe it's about 150 meters tall. And the entire tower doesn't have any windows going up, apart from maybe the top four or five floors. It's a very weird tower. Um, it sits right in the middle of this big disc, which is the SM Seaside Mall. I don't know if it's an observation tower. I don't know if it's a restaurant or whatnot, but the tower has actually been featured in a film called The Platform. I believe it was a Netflix film um, with Spanish actors and Spanish language. And uh, the basis of the film was that prisoners used to be locked up in that tower and all like the necessities and food supplies would be like delivered to them on the top floor via a platform. I've not seen the film myself, but I know it was shot here. And if you're a regular viewer of the channel, you would know I actually visited the New Star, which is literally opposite from the SMC side. It's like a five or 10 minute walk down to the five star hotel, casino and resort, which is still in a building stage, but it has gone through a soft launch. So the casino is open, one of the hotels is open and three restaurants are too. Although I'm standing next to a very busy road, uh, that's pretty loud the walk around the actual mall is rather scenic because there's these palm trees that are lined all around it and uh, they've done a very good job designing the plants and the bushes and the hedges around this shopping mall it looks really nice actually when you get to the other side it almost looks like an airport terminal and the reason why i say that is because i've actually been to airports in europe that look similar to this i almost forgot to mention that that bridge in the distance is the longest bridge in the philippines it's relatively new and it's called the Cebu Cordova Bridge Link Expressway and it basically links this island to the Makatan Island. Um, I believe there's a few 
few works still kind of going on. It's pretty much at a finished stage. But uh, when I tried to drive over it with my 125cc motorbike, 150cc motorbike, they told me I can't go over it. Somebody literally stopped me in the middle of the road and told me that motorbikes only 400cc above can go over the bridge. What up? Hello. Uh, sir, we're now we're not allowed to enter below 400cc. Oh, okay. Ah, okay. Uh, this coming July. Maybe this coming July. Ah, okay. How do I get out then? Uh, this way, sir. Oh, oh, okay, no problem. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so sorry, sir. No worries, it's fine. Sometime in July, maybe August, they'll open it up to smaller motorbikes. But for now, I can't go over it. I've already tried. All right, we're inside now, the SM Seaside Mall, which I entered through the Seaside Wing. And the first thing I want to do whilst I'm here is possibly go up to the huge terrace in which they have located on the third floor. It's a brilliant place to go catch sunset because the terrace faces onto the mountains where like the top's lookout is. Getting in the sunset, sending over those mountains in the distance, I think it's gonna be quite beautiful. So let's head on up. We can either go up the lift over there, which will take us directly to the third floor, but the queues are kind of crazy, or we can get the spiral staircase up, or take this escalator, which is right next to me, which isn't working. <laughs> Pretty common in the Philippines is to have these little electric scooters that you can rent out for about 100 pesos for the hour. 100 to 200 pesos for the hour. I actually rented out one of these when I was in Tagaytay. Really fun. And as the mall is really smooth and there's no rocks, anything like that, uh, these things can go pretty quick. Hello, are you enjoying your time? Yeah. <laughs> cool, man. Take care. Because malls in the Philippines are so big, they'll have their very own carousel in the mall. And even with something like that and these spiral staircases protruding from like the floor all the way to the ceiling, it still feels rather empty because there's so much space here. Not only that, but quite a few of them will actually feature their very own ice ring, uh, which I will show you later on in the video, which is also located on the third floor. Now, the two main malls I like to draw a comparison between is this and Ayala Malls, which is located in Cebu Business Park. Um, I think Ayala Malls has a lot more shops than Seaside does. You'll see like two or even three stores of the same franchise located in the same mall in Ayala Malls. Here you don't have that. Here it's like one of each. You see this, uh, this pedestrian footbridge, right? Right here. It looks like it's still under construction or some sort of rent. No, construction, because look, the panels haven't even been fitted fully. You see, it's still ongoing work. And actually, when this pedestrian bridge opens up, you should be able to access this huge tower. Even though this is my third or fourth visit, I didn't realize there was a sky park, which actually faces the seaside area. Look at this, we go through this double doorway here, and then there's rainbow ribbons on the ceiling. And then it opens up to the Sky Park. Damn, look at the view that we have here. I've actually been on um, the other side, which is exactly like this, but it's just facing the other way. But you don't really have a seaside view like you do here. This is stunning. This is my first time on this side of the mall. This area is so big, you can't really call it a terrace. And so what they've called it is a sky park. And there's plenty of greenery up here. Loads of hedges, loads of bushes, trees, plants. <laughs> they've even got bicycles up here. Where'd you get a bike, sir? Um, rent. Oh, you rent it from over there, yeah? Okay, that's amazing. <laughs> what mall allows you to rent a bicycle and ride it around? In Europe, this is a no-no, trust me. So we've got a seating area up here. We've got a view of the central tower and new stuff. Um, we've got a few pods here. Actually, on this side, it seems like they're occupied, but on the other, they're empty. Okay, it looks like sunset is shaping up to be pretty spectacular. Hopefully the clouds over there won't thicken up and block it. But yeah, I reckon this place is probably one of the best places to catch sunset from. Um, I don't really know of any kind of really tall observation towers, apart from that one obviously over there, or any sort of like terraces that face directly onto the mountains unless you're up in the mountains i think this is why there's quite a few people here and um, they're probably all waiting for sunset to occur on pretty much every occasion in which i've been here i've come here during the evening and i'm really glad i'm seeing it during the day because it's a whole nother beauty when the sun is out and there's plenty of daylight in the sky 
You see these kind of like pods here? They're currently not being utilized. There's nobody here. I think it would be ideal to have a sort of coffee shop in here. Maybe if Starbucks wanted to open up here, Bose Coffee. Yes, because you have the wonderful view of the sunset and the mountains. Hello, sir, how are you, you okay? Okay, so this is one side of the terrace. There's another one on the other side. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, we can actually get to the other one just by walking through here. We've still to see the bowling alley and the ice rink. Oh, I see you. <laughs> this girl just subscribed, say hello. What's your name? I'm Dustin. Dustin, nice to meet you, Dustin. There's also something called the Sky Hall. Let's take a look inside. Wow, this Sky Hall is a pretty good place for like talks and presentations, maybe a little business conference. All right, we've come to the other terrace, uh, which I've seen before. I think Sunset is actually more visible from this side as well, because we're facing the sun more directly onwards. I'm gonna pop my glasses on because I don't want to squint the entire time. But I would say the layout of this side of the terrace is pretty much very similar. But um, on this side, we do have these cubes that have LEDs that light up during the night, making it really nice. And then this seating area seems pretty unoccupied. There's nobody here, uh, which I'm kind of surprised about, but it is quite hot at the moment. So when um, the sun gets lower in the sky, it wouldn't surprise me if more people come out here and watch the sunset from here. Folks, let's just take a moment to appreciate the view here in Cebu. Look at this. We've got the mountains in the distance. We've got this wonderful terrace. We've got the sun setting in a few minutes. Oh, it's just nice. But rather than calling this a sky park, I would have called this the forest walkway or the forest terrace. That's a more fitting name in my opinion, uh, based on the amount of greenery that's up here. Oh, there's TikTokers everywhere. Look, look, TikTokers, yeah, go, go, go. Yeah, you doing TikTok? Are you TikTokers too? <laughs> Oh my god. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Get it, get it, get it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I think this is where all the TikTokers jam, to be fair. Nice scenery. I mean, can you blame them? As I mentioned before, the end of this terrace doesn't really have that much of a seaside view. You do have the view of uh, the Cebu Cordova Bridge, but um, it's quite far from the sea. If this place was going through a rehabilitation or they were kind of like changing the terrace, I would position the seats slightly differently because the seats are facing inwards towards the tower. Whereas actually you've got this wonderful view over the mountains in that direction. So actually these seats should be facing that way or on this side. That's what I would do if I was a designer, you see? See that there? Engineering design at its finest, practicality in mind. While I'm waiting for the sunset, I just want to show you Wow. I was gonna say, I just wanna show you that these doors are actually open because I saw those people walking through them. Wow, it is like a sauna in here though. <sighs> Air conditioning costs is gonna be pretty expensive in here. Are they single glazed windows? Yeah, they are. Oh no, they're not. They're, no, they're thick windows. So insulation should be pretty good. As you can see, these two terraces on either side of the mall are massive. They're humongous. And um, it's taken me quite a while, maybe 30 minutes to walk around and show you this place. But uh, for now, I think I've done a pretty good job. I'm just gonna sit down, find a seat somewhere, sit down and watch the sun set over the mountains. Okay, I've managed to pick up a Coke. Couldn't find anything else um, that is conveniently located around here. This will do for now. I do like these little ponds that they have in front of the, uh, the pods. It makes it feel like a little floating island, right? Cheers. Well, folks, I had really high hopes for today's sunset, but, um, Unfortunately, it just didn't deliver. The clouds blocked the sun setting over the mountains. Oh well, there's always another time and I've enjoyed sitting out here drinking my Coke to this view and this ambient music. I'm gonna head inside now. I don't think it's gonna get better than this. What the hell, why, is the, why does the music go so well? Bam! 
I swear those sort of strollers would only be available for the elderly or the disabled, but uh, not in the Philippines. We are on our way to see the ice rink. Uh, I think it's a full-size ice rink up here on the same floor as the terrace. But just to the left of me, we've got the SM Bowling, uh, what do they call it? Leisure Center? That's what they call it. And there's 16 bowling alleys along with four pool tables and I believe three karaoke booths along with a few ping pong tables too. And it's pretty busy today. If my memory serves me correct, I think it's 200 pesos per person for the bowling, 150 pesos for the pool table for every hour and I can't remember how much the karaoke booth and the ping pong table is. Maybe 100 pesos, maybe 150, somewhere in that region. And in front of us is the ice rink, SM Seaside Ice Skating Rink. Uh, we have 300 pesos, it's good for two hours. 300 pesos for how long? Two hours. Do you have anything for one hour? And I believe all these people are actually signing a waiver in the event that they get injured. To be honest though, I don't see any professionals in this ice rink whatsoever. And it wouldn't surprise me, you don't have snowy weather here, right, in the Philippines. It's only hot weather. Oh, 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 wait, 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 we've got one here. I bet you he's Japanese. I bet you this dude's Japanese, right? He don't look Filipino. Yeah, buddy. Oh. Nice spin. Oh, he looks a little bit dizzy from all those spins. <laughs> But look at these polar bears in which they have. You can get kids to sit on them and push them. And it's a good way to actually stay upright and be stable. But the, the kid in yellow is implementing the wrong technique. He's walking on the ice rather than pushing against the ice or sliding against it. Hey, you want to ice skate? You want to ice skate, buddy? And then opposite the ice rink, we've got the food court of SMC side. I've actually eaten here before. Um, I got a meal from Seoul. Old beaming bat. That was on the day in which I went to Noosa, I uh, lost quite a bit of money and then got like a really cheap meal because that was the only cash I had for 65 pesos. Brilliant. On the ceiling on the food court, they've got these strands of, I believe, wire, plastic. I think it's metal wire. Um, but I really am struggling to think of what it is. But if you've got better ideas of where this takes inspiration from, let me know in the comments. Walking around SMC side, it's really easy to spend a whole afternoon, almost a day in here. Right, so I've just entered a Starbucks uh, to come charge my camera. But I realized I haven't entered this central portion here, which has the tower. It's also like a little garden or a courtyard, essentially, of the mall. But I'm um, speaking to the Starbucks staff. She tells me it's currently under renovation uh, because the storm which happened last year, ripped apart the exterior panels of the tower. And so for the last year and a bit, um, it's currently been under renovation. All right, I'm actually gonna swap coffee shops because Starbucks doesn't have a working electrical socket. Um, but as I was exiting Starbucks, somebody stopped me and they were like, I've seen your vlog. It's not a day that goes by that I'm not getting stopped here in Cebu uh, with people recognizing my vlog. Uh, something similar is happening here as it did in Manila, that's crazy. How much was this? How much was it? 150 yeah. per hour, okay. I've been walking around everywhere. I should just get one of these. Oh, can you show me how quickly it goes? Just zip around here, like full, full speed. Go on, go on, go on. Go, 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 go. Oh, it goes pretty quick. It goes really quick. She's even got a McDonald's drink position right now. Oh, it's not McDonald's. <laughs> but anyway, bubble tea. Okay, folks, I'm heading to the mountain wing uh, where I'm going to start making my way back to Fuente Osmania. And I'm going to take the free shuttle bus all the way back. Yes. Brilliant. This is the really convenient thing about SMC side. I love this free bus shuttle service, whatever you want to call it, uh, that it has. And it, it's not only to Fuente Osmania, I think it goes to other regions too. I think there's two or three other routes um, where the shuttle service is free from here. But to catch it, we've got to go to the mountain wing. Do you know what would have been epic? If they made this staircase into an actual slide that you could go down, that would be really funny. So for anybody wondering about where the mountain wing is, uh, it's actually where the T-Rex or the Jurassic Park of the mall is. Just behind, just behind these dinosaurs here, so you can get the free shuttle service. 
the mall has actually kindly put seats out for people waiting to take the free shuttle service. So you don't have to stand uh, while you wait for the free bus. Well, folks, if you enjoyed today's video of the SMC site tour, you know what to do. Subscribe to the channel for me, like this video and share this video with friends and family. And I will see you in the next video here on the channel. Many thanks for watching, guys. Take care and bye for now.